Hello everyone, my name is Salvador. I hope you're having a good day and enjoying the event. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about a thermodynamic and kinetic approach to enzymatic synthesis of peroctanoic acid. Magario Ivana, Silipoti Jose and I are members of the Institute of Research and Development in Process Engineering and Applied Chemistry of the National University of Córdoba, Argentina. Peracidation is a chemical reaction that consists in a carboxylic acid, for example, this octanoic acid molecule, that reacts with an hydrogen peroxide molecule to give water and peroctanoic acid as products. This reaction can be catalyzed with an enzyme, like the Candida Antarctica lipase B, used in this work. Peracids are important organic oxidants that can participate in chemical reaction like the preles chashu epoxidation. For example, here a cyclohexane molecule can be epoxidized to gain an oxyrane ring group. Traditionally, the peracidation reaction is catalyzed with sulfuric acid, which also promotes undesirable reactions on the final epoxides. Therefore, the study of selective catalysts such as enzymes is a topic of interest. These systems are conformed by two liquid phases, an aqueous phase that contains the polar substrates of peracidation, the hydrogen peroxide, another of organic nature that contains the carboxylic acid, the peracid, and the substrates of epoxidation. The catalytic activity of this enzyme is due to the coordinated action of three amino acids, serine, histidine, and aspartate. Here is an schematic representation of the protein. The mechanism starts with the entrance of the carboxylic acid to the active site of the protein. It is then followed by the desorption of a water molecule from the active site, leaving this structure. Next, an hydrogen peroxide molecule enters in the active pocket and, with a perhydrolysis mechanism, a peracid is produced. Finally, the formed peracid desorbs from the active site. This enzymatic mechanism is known as ping-pong BB. The purpose of this work is to study the influence of the initial load of octanoic acid in the peroctanoic acid synthesis and propose a kinetic law that fits the experimental initial reaction rates. Four experimental runs were carried with the same initial load of an hydrogen peroxide solution and 0.5 grams of catalyst. The temperature was maintained constant at 30 Celsius and the system was agitated at 600 RPM. In each run, a different initial amount of octanoic acid was loaded with the corresponding amount of hexane to maintain the total reaction volume at 54 milliliters. The sampling procedure consisted in stopping the agitation for 30 seconds to allow the liquid phases to fully separate. Then, 0.5 milliliters of the organic phase were sampled and the content of peroctanoic acid was quantified by serimetric and iodometric titration. For each initial load of octanoic acid, the initial thermodynamic activities of the substrates were estimated with UNIPAC. The experimental initial reaction rates for each run are presented in this graph. A ping-pong PV kinetic law evaluated in the initial thermodynamic activities of the substrates is proposed. This methodology is known as thermodynamic activity-based enzyme kinetic. These are the kinetic parameters obtained from the fit of the experimental data. As shown, the initial reaction rate decays with the increase of the initial octanoic acid activity. This behavior indicates an existence of an optimum initial activity of octanoic acid for each initial activity of hydrogen peroxide. For the particular initial hydrogen peroxide activity used in this work, the optimal initial activity of the octanoic acid can be found. The conclusions of this work are that the TABEC methodology results a satisfactory tool to fit the experimental data of initial peroctanoic synthesis rate considering the inhibitory effect of octanoic acid in the reaction. The mechanism of the inhibitory effect of the carboxylic acid is still undetermined and needs more deep investigation in further works. We wish to thank Dr. Peláez for the invitation to the event. Here are the references of this work. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the conference.